Good afternoon. Welcome to the University of Adelaide's graduation ceremony. This afternoon's ceremony is for graduates of the Adelaide Medical School. The ceremony will commence very shortly. The university has a contract photographer to provide photography services during the ceremony. If you wish to take photos, we ask that you do so discreetly from your seat, and please do not use a flash. To maintain the ceremony's sense of occasion, please switch off your mobile phones. In the case of emergency, please follow the direction of staff members, and the emergency assembly point is in the Goodwin Crescent lawns to the western side of Benithan Hall. The evacuation plan can be found on page nine of your program. At the conclusion of the ceremony, a group photograph will be taken for the Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery graduates out the front of Benithan Hall. After exiting the hall, it is appreciated if guests move quickly away from the front so that the graduates can begin to assemble for that photograph. Thank you and enjoy the ceremony.
The academic procession is about to enter the hall. We will be singing the national anthem and you can find the words on page nine of the program. Please now stand for the academic procession and remain standing for the national anthem. I, Catherine Branson, Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, declare open this congregation, convene for the purpose of presenting degrees. Distinguished guests, friends, relatives, and most importantly, graduates here to receive their departments today. 
Welcome to this University of Adelaide graduation ceremony. Gana Miena, Gata Gana Yata Nadalu Tampandi. In English, we recognise we're on Ghana land. We acknowledge the Ghana people, past and present, the original custodians of the Adelaide Plains, and thus of the land on which the University of Adelaide's campuses are built. We acknowledge their ongoing spiritual connection to this beautiful land. Graduates, your graduation is an event in which you can take great pride and I know your family and friends take pride in your success also, as does the staff of this university. Graduation day is an opportunity, you might think, to reflect, to think on what brought you here, and to think where your future may go as a result of the things we, we celebrate that you've achieved today. Whatever direction your life may now take, I'm confident that what you've learned here the skills that you've acquired while you've been at the University of Adelaide will stand you in good stead, not only in your professional, your working life, but in all aspects of your life. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce today's graduation orator. It is Dr. Richard Harvey, MP. Dr. Richard Harvey was elected as a member for Newland in the South Australian Parliament in March 2018. Prior to his election, Richard worked as a postdoctoral research officer here at the University of Adelaide, where he also completed his undergraduate and his postgraduate studies. Richard's work involved finding new ways to treat and prevent disease caused by the bacterial pathogen Streptococcus pneumoniae, which is the world's leading cause of pneumonia, bacteriemia, meningitis, and ear infections. Richard has three young children, who inspired him to enter politics for the purpose in, in, of ensuring that their futures in South Australia are bright. We're privileged to hear from him today. Please welcome Dr. Richard Harvey. Well, thank you very much. And firstly, can I just say that it is uh, genuinely an honour and a privilege to be here today and to be able to share in this very special occasion. Um, I was very uh, fortunate to have done this a, a number of times and I certainly remember it um, very well. And in spite of the fact we're living in a very strange world at the moment, I think it is fantastic that we're still all able to come together and, and really make this still a, a very special day. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge the Chancellor Catherine Branson, ACQC, Professor Anton Middleberg, Deputy Vice-Chancellor Research, distinguished guests, members of staff and, of course, graduates. Welcome to this very special occasion. Today uh, is a celebration, a celebration of the achievements of an exceptional group of young people. It's also a recognition of the exceptional challenges you faced in your final year of study. Nobody could have foreseen the challenges of 2020 when you first started your studies. You overcame and you conquered. Each of you has made an incredible commitment to develop your personal and professional capabilities. And not only have you done this for the betterment of yourselves, but also for the betterment of others and our world more broadly. Graduating from the Adelaide Medical School means you follow in the footsteps of some notable individuals, people like Howard Florey, who studied medicine from 1917 to 1921, and of course, uh, went on to be recognised with a Nobel Prize for his role in the development of penicillin. And people like Helen Mayo, who spent two years working in infant health in England, Ireland and India before returning to Adelaide in 1906 and co-founding the School for Mothers, where mothers could receive advice uh, on infant health. As well as being a State Member of Parliament, I'm also a proud graduate of the University of Adelaide, I studied a Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Science and, and did honours and then went on to do a PhD in Microbiology. And before entering Parliament, I worked here as a postdoctoral research officer uh, in what was called the School of Molecular and Biomedical Sciences on, as we just heard earlier, a, a bacterial pathogen called Streptococcus pneumonia, which, believe it or not, is responsible for more than one million deaths in children under the age of five every year around the world. But now I'm a politician. 
um, which I think really shows that there are diverse pathways um, from where your studies can take you. Today is a launch pad for the rest of your life. Uh, where you can take your career and life from here is really up to you. The opportunities are endless. The choices are yours. This school has given you the knowledge, skills and capabilities for you to succeed in your chosen field. You now have a chance to put this into practice and build on your achievements. I encourage each of you to aim as high in your ambition and whatever that looks like in your context. Our world needs people who put their hand up to make a difference, people who show up and make a change for the better. There are five things I'd like you to think about as you forge ahead on this next chapter of your life. Number one is to hold your values tightly. There is only one of you, and you have been shaped by all of your experiences to date. Be true to who you are and the person that you were born to be. Let your core values underpin your future choices. Stay true to them and look to them as your North Star for the path forward. Number two, keep an open and inquiring mind. Being curious will help you to continue to learn, grow, and be open to possibilities. Ask questions. Seek to understand first. Always look to broaden your perspectives, particularly when making decisions. Number three, become a good listener. It's said that people who listen gain much more than people who talk. Listening gives you information and facilitates strong human relationships. In the workplace, it helps you understand what is needed to be successful. Number four, pursue lifelong learning. Life will take many twists and turns. Gaining knowledge and learning new skills throughout life will allow you to steer your life with greater purpose, confidence and resilience. Keep learning and you'll be amazed where it can lead. Number five, maintain consistency in values and beliefs. Consistency in our values, beliefs and actions gives us a strong ethical foundation. It also gives us integrity. These are core attrib attributes for a successful life. Live your truth. In closing, I'd like to offer my personal congratulations on your graduation day. Today is one of those days you'll remember long after the photo opportunity on the university lawns. You should feel incredibly proud of what you have achieved since taking the life-changing step on enrolling in your university studies. Go forward from today, embrace what you do with passion and enthusiasm and stamp your influence on the world. Remember that the life that you're living right now is not a dress rehearsal, this is the real thing, so go out and live it. To the families, friends and loved ones who are here today to support today's graduating students, congratulations on being part of their success. And, and I would also very much like to recognise all the staff of the faculty and the broader university who have supported you through your learning to reach today's milestone. Uh, enjoy today's graduation and thank you very much. On behalf of the graduates and their families attending today's ceremony, I would like to thank Dr. Richard Harvey for his stimulating and inspiring address. We are honoured that you have taken the time to join us on this special day to share with us your thoughts and experiences. Your words of encouragement and advice are greatly appreciated. They remind us that education places upon each of us an enduring responsibility to make the best possible use of our talents and to contribute to the betterment of society in whatever way we can. Please join me in once again thanking Dr. Richard Harvey. I will now receive the candidates for degrees. I call on the Deputy Vice-Chancellor and Vice-President Research. Chancellor, I, Professor Anton Middleberg, Deputy Vice-Chancellor and Vice-President Research of the University of Adelaide, certify to you and the whole university that the graduates who will be presented to you have all fulfilled the conditions prescribed for admission to the award for which they are so presented. I, Catherine Branson, Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, by virtue of the power committed to me by the university, confirm that each graduate is admitted to the rank and privileges of a holder of the award in the University of Adelaide for which they are so presented. 
I call on the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health and Medical Sciences, Professor Benjamin Kyle, to present the graduates. Chancellor, I, Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health and Medical Sciences, Professor Benjamin Kyle, present to you graduates from the Adelaide Medical School. To the degrees of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Haidar Hadri bin Abdul Wahab. <laughs> Matish Anarate Habaratne. <laughs> Lucinda Elizabeth Hill Adams. Habib Ahmad. <laughs> Anton Ilario Alvaro. <laughs> Adon Toru Nicholas Asahina. Larissa Nguyen Nock Van Al. <laughs> Evelyn April Cecilia Axelby. <laughs> Michael Leader Bai. Andrew Miles Baker. <laughs> Krishna Lee Bailey. <laughs> Amaya Banashali. Deba Bumal Gujari. <laughs> Chloe Thane Borges. <laughs> Chelsea Sarah Burford. Natasha Eleanor Chayadi. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Chataway. <laughs> Braden Thomas Claridge. Georgina Rose Collins. <laughs> Malage Dona Vishaka Disanayaka. <laughs> John Dongas. Demetra Dionysia Dunas. <laughs> Sega Alangavan. <laughs> Jessica Grace Farah. Sarah Frost. <laughs> Ms. 
Jessica Joanne Garland. Sean Lawrence Gershwitz. Z Y Go. Sylvia Grelak. Naomali Avanti Gunaratna. Emily Jane Hammond. Sarah Hariz. Lucienne Amarina Heath. Nimaya Sandanika Lokosatu Hawage. Lucy Hayworth. Rebecca Elise Hogan. Wee J. Ho. Florence Eve Holland. Benjamin Peter Zhisheng Holt. <laughs> Isabella Huang. <laughs> Jennifer Hughes. Jessica Huynh. <laughs> Esther Rose Jones. <laughs> Sarah Melissa Jones. Kate Samantha Joyce. <laughs> Jocelyn Chong Z Earn. <laughs> Portia Millicent Joyce Tubb. James Tuan Q. <laughs> Kevin Kaur. <laughs> George Katusis. Adina LaForgia. <laughs> Catherine Eleanor Lee. <laughs> Ray Juan Lee. Joss Benjamin Lines.
Fergus Lynch. James Benjamin Stewart McAdam. Carmelo Zach Macri. Rose Isabella Massolino. Colette Francis Massey Westrop. <laughs> Bianca Monique Elsner. <laughs> Bonnie Cassandra Miller. Sarah Catherine Miller. <laughs> Jessica Grace Mary Mitchell. <laughs> Tanvir Singh Mokar. Catalina Sophia Moraga Mason. <laughs> David Min Nguyen. <laughs> tu Hien Nguyen. Darcy James Knoll. <laughs> Riley James Oven. <laughs> Samuel Thomas Piers. Jade Lauren Pisanello. <laughs> Zhang Yuan Ho. <laughs> Roberta Angelini Potamianos. <laughs> Mary Nancy Premner. Charlotte Jean Proudman. <laughs> Katada Rana. <laughs> Bhuvanesh Ravakandran. <laughs> Tanaya J. Renshaw. Joanna Ellen Richards. <laughs> Madeline Kate Sanders Rock. <laughs> Emma Margaret Rose. Jake Alexander Rowe. <laughs> Jack Rumbelow. <laughs> Daniel J. Sansom. Hugh Thomas Shivanen.
Eleanor Jane Schofield. <laughs> Julia Scott. <laughs> Dilan Simon. <laughs> Snezana Samak. Sharanya Marie Shantharam. <laughs> Catherine Diana Charlie. <laughs> Gurfaman Singh. Georgia Rachel Blanche Smithson Thomas. John Lyle Snow. Felicia Emily Stanza. Peter Leon Stapleton. <laughs> Natasha Margaret Stoltz. <laughs> Brandon Stretton. <laughs> Ching C. Tan. Sally Jean Terrett. <laughs> Fee Ha Tran. <laughs> Sarah Ann Turin. <laughs> Timothy James Turin. Ashley Louise Twigger. <laughs> Eloise Sophie Vaughan. <laughs> Vigneshwar Venkatesh. Janine Quinnu Nok Vu. <laughs> Isabella Jane Watts. <laughs> Wirakodi Muriyanga Salage Udane Vasali Wirakodi. George White Wells. <laughs> Samuel J. West. <laughs> Deceith Bandara Wuwagama. Laura Grace White. <laughs> Caleb Krishna Wijasena. <laughs> Millie Primrose Williams. Alexander Patrick Minroon Wong. <laughs> Anne.
and Daniel Jordan Zweck. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Molecular Mediators of Macrophage Foam Cell Formation and Atherosclerosis and Their Pharmacological Modification, we are a Hanadegay Sanajar Lakshani Fernando. For a thesis entitled Investigating the Contribution of Specific Cancer Associated Fibroblast Subsets to Colorectal Tumor Genesis, Christina Anna Genietz. <laughs> For a thesis entitled The Role of Viruses in Chronic Rhinosinusitis, Rachel Catherine Goggin. For a thesis entitled The Role of Macrophages in Vascular Adaptation to Pregnancy in Mice, Holly Michelle Groom. <laughs> For a thesis entitled Herbal Medicine Use in the Australian Population, Adulteration, Contamination and Adverse Drug Reactions, Claire Louise Hoban. For a thesis entitled Nasal Mucus, Friend or Foe, The Effect of Mucus on Mucosal Barrier Dysfunction in Chronic Rhinosinusitis, Stephen Sheeteng Kao. <laughs> For a thesis entitled A Novel Intervention Strategy to Prevent Uterine Growth Restriction, Harleen Kaur. For a thesis entitled Improved Characterization of Hypertension in Atrial Fibrillation, Role of Central Blood Pressure and Aortic Stiffness Assessment, Kashif Bashir Kokar. <laughs> For a thesis entitled Variable Clinical and Molecular Expressivity of PCDH19 Variants and Girls Clustering Epilepsy, a Disorder of Cellular Mosaics, Chrissy Louise Kolk. For a thesis entitled Postural Alignment and Recovery of Mobility After Acquired Brain Injury, Simon James Mills. For a thesis entitled Clinical Outcomes Associated with Cardiac Implantable Electronic Devices, Diane and Dina Manawa. <laughs> For a thesis entitled Understanding the Role of Androgen Receptor Signaling in Prostate Cancer, a Lipidomics Approach by Maldi Mass Spectrometry Imaging, Shadrach Malinge Matuku. Thesis entitled Schizophrenia and Obstructive Sleep Apnea, Hannah D. Miles. <laughs> For a thesis entitled Development of an Acute Excitotoxic Model of Huntington's Disease in Sheep, Adam Brett O'Connell. For a thesis entitled Triglyceride-Rich Lipoproteins and Apolipoprotein C3 in Atherosclerosis, Wenru Pan. <laughs> For a thesis entitled The Host Microbe Interface in Chronic Rhinosinusitis, Satish Paramisavan. For a thesis entitled Management Options for Hydrosalpinx, Salpingostomy or IVF, Oswald Marino Petruccio. <laughs> for 
for a thesis entitled The Role of Vitamin D Autocrine Activity and Signalling in Osteoclast Formation and Activity, Daniel Christopher Reinke. For a thesis entitled The Association Between Nutrition and Depression, Prem Raj Sakaya. For a thesis entitled, A Novel Investigation into the Role of Neurotrophic Factors in the Osteocyte and Bone, Catherine Stapledon. <laughs> For a thesis entitled, Development and Validation of a Screening Tool to Identify Anal Incontinence in Women of Reproductive Age, Julie Marie Tucker. For a thesis and for a thesis entitled Hyperbaric Oxygen and Insulin Sensitivity, David Cameron Wilkinson. <laughs> Chancellor, this concludes the graduates from the Adelaide Medical School and for this ceremony. Chancellor, University Doctoral Research Medals are awarded to graduates who have completed outstanding research at doctoral level. This award is the premier award for doctoral candidates at the university. I, Professor Anton Middleberg, Deputy Vice-Chancellor and Vice President Research of the University of Adelaide, present to you a recipient of the 2020 University Doctoral Research Medal. For research in the field of medical specialties, Sunita Maria Cristina de Sousa. I'm now very pleased to introduce to you Jade Lauren Pisaniello, who has presented this afternoon with the Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. Jade will now give the valedictory address on behalf of the cohort of graduates who are presented with their awards today. Good afternoon, Chancellor, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, academic staff, friends, family, and the class of 2020. My name is Jade Pisanello, and it is my great honor to have been selected as your valedictorian. Our final year of university started off as unremarkably as the five before, but with a distinct and palpable brewing excitement of overseas travel, an exam-free year, and the thrill of finally having ascended to sixth year status. Just as the anticipation and expectations were mounting, the world was turned upside down. Hospital placements were suspended, teaching was shifted to entirely online, and the year we had planned seemed to overnight slip through our fingertips. Although our year of graduation is a year synonymous with border restrictions, online tutorials, and toilet paper stockpiling, and it would be easier to reflect on the many things that COVID took away from us, I want to instead reflect on what 2020 enabled us to develop. The journey which led each person to a seat in this room may be different, but we are all united by one thing, resilience. Resilience in our sense of self, our purpose, resilience amongst each other, and resilience as a cohort of ambitious and eager young people. The unprecedented circumstances of our final 12 months of universities emphasised rather than diminished our accomplishments over the past six years. While our final year was impacted significantly by the pandemic and was tainted by some disappointment in cancelled and much anticipated plans, we built on our collective resilience and refused to be defined by the constraints COVID imposed on our education. Despite many obstacles, the University of Adelaide and the School of Medicine has empowered each of us with an outstanding education 
an education which is our passport to a fulfilling career and life. The beauty of this specific brand of passport is that it cannot be contained by anything, not even a pandemic. This institution has equipped us with the skills and knowledge to go forth and be the change we want to see in the world. The people who made this possible and to, ho to whom we owe many thanks are our teachers, many of whom are here today. Our lecturers and tutors invited us to share in their knowledge and in 2020 invited us into their living rooms as we all navigated through medical school in a new and very unfamiliar online format. I want to take a moment also to thank the people who allowed us to bear witness to the most frightening and vulnerable moments of their lives, our patients. We have spent the last six years learning how to treat disease, but what will define our ability to truly help others will be not how well we treat only the disease, but the human condition. While our teachers have nurtured and developed our clinical acumen, the group of people sitting to the left of everyone, clasping degrees, are the people who raised each of us to strive for the best possible versions of ourselves. Our families share the joy of our graduation today, just as they proudly, proudly stood alongside us at each of our milestones over the course of our lives so far. After the year that was, I am grateful that we have the opportunity to physically gather together today. Although we can come together in this way, I would like to acknowledge the graduates not fortunate enough to be joined by their support network. To those who are graduating today and celebrating without their cheer squad, particularly our international graduates, I have no doubt that wherever in the world your support network might be, they are gushing with almost as much pride as my grandmother was when I told her I was delivering this speech. Additionally, I would like to take a moment to recognise the ongoing global health implications of COVID and how the effects of this virus continue to be felt both onshore and even more so internationally, particularly so in India. On a day like today, it is impossible not to reflect on the significance of time and how quickly the last six years seems to have gone by. Six years of unforgettable memories, friendships forged, mistakes, triumphs and everything in between. Medicine is a spectacularly unique course at the University of Adelaide, made up of an abundance of talented and committed individuals, each with an immense sense of collegiality. When you graduate from Adelaide Medical School, you will merge not only as a doctor, but with a host of special memories created alongside exceptional friends who will remain by your side for the rest of your life. As much joy can be found in the past six years, what excites me even more is what the future holds for each of us. Although time moves on, some things never change. The alma mater of the University of Adelaide have all celebrated their graduations in this very hall since 1936. Perhaps you have been seated where former Prime Minister Julia Gillard once was, or in the same spot as Nobel laureate Robin Warren. What is truly extraordinary is that every seat occupied in Benython Hall at this very moment by someone clasping their hard-earned degree has the potential to be a pioneer, a leader, and someone our children or grandchildren might hear about at their very own graduation ceremonies in years to come. Although our paths are already beginning to diverge, I hope we can always reflect and find comfort in the resilience and bond we developed together as a cohort throughout our studies over more than half a decade. I will finish with a quote from an iconic valedictorian speech delivered at Harvard University coincidentally by someone also wearing a very pink dress. Congratulations, class of 2020. In the words of Elle Woods, we did it. Thank you. Thank you, Jade. It now gives me great pleasure to congratulate, as a group, all of those who have taken their degrees today. Be proud of what you've worked to achieve, but remember those who supported you along the way. I know it will be parents, family, friends, also the fine staff of this university. I wish you every success as you enter this new stage of your life and career. As graduates of the University of Adelaide, you are also its alumni and its ambassadors. Over the years since the university was established, 
the alumni of this university have made enormous contributions to communities in this country and all around the world. Today, you join this group of more than 147,000 alumni of the University of Adelaide. They're to be found in more than 134 countries around the globe. We have 17 global alum alumni networks, including eight international networks. I hope you'll give some thought to joining one of those networks. I'd like now to thank again the mace bearer, Sunita, Anna the Victorian, Jade, and all who assisted in the organization and the running of today's ceremony. I now ask that all of our graduates remain seated, while everybody else who comfortably can stands, and again, once again, joins me in congratulating those who graduated today. Would the audience please remain standing? And I ask the graduates now please to stand for the academic recession. Once the academic recession has left the hall, we ask our guests to stay at their seats and the staff of the university will help them leave the hall. I now declare this congregation adjourned. <laughs>